Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome back to another episode of my virtual boxing career. And holy cow, man, if you missed the last one, we totally dispatched a young George Foreman. Man, it was probably one of my sweetest victories in my young career. And it was just so incredible because the fear that I had going into that fight, it was high, man. It was pretty high. And we went in there and did what you guys have been telling me throughout the course of this whole experience is just to pick your spots, be defensive, and um, try to land that big shot. And that's what we did. And it was a great victory. But moving forward, holy cow, we have a fight for you, man. And as you saw in the thumbnail, you know who it's up against. But before we get into that, just want to show you guys that we are playing this on the greatest of all time. And um, I don't know, I kind of forget to tell you guys that. So it is on the greatest of all time, hardest setting. So the computer is not going to be holding back at all throughout the course of these fights. So let's check out our email right here. And it said, do you want a last minute fight? No, we, we don't want that against Gideon. So we don't want any of that. I accepted some sponsorships. Um, so we may be looking a little bit different going into this next fight, but let's schedule the fight. Let's schedule the fight because you know who it's up against. Tommy Morrison. Holy cow. It's so cool that at this point, you know, we are facing the big boys. We're facing not guys that are just made up in the game. We're facing Tommy Morrison. Holy cow. Former WBO heavyweight champion back in, what was it, in 1993? And you know what's so crazy? Sylvester Stallone watched live one of Morrison's fights and he loved his style, his antics, his charisma, that he ended up uh, offering him an acting spot on Rocky V, man, as Tommy Gunn. Remember that? So it's so cool how, you know, he was just out there trying to, you know, make a living in professional boxing and then Sylvester Stallone just brought him in and that was a great movie, Rocky V. So we are going up against Tommy Gunn, a.k.a. Tommy Morrison. So without further ado, look at this, 35K, man. So more money, more problems. Remember P. Diddy? But um, yeah, we're getting more. He's ranked 16th. We're ranked 19th. So we're creeping up. Definitely going to creep up if we get the win. So we're going to book the fight. And somebody told me, like, don't train at Big Bear yet, man. Ease up. Put the handbrake on. So we're going to train. I'm training in Mexico, I think. Mexico or England. I kind of like training in England, so shout out to you UK boys. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna train in England. Uh, if anything crazy happens, I'll show you. Um, but if not, I'll see you at the fight. Holy cow, we're facing big bad Tommy Morrison. All right, I'll see you there, man. All right, everybody, here we go. Chicago. Holy cow. Aragon Ballroom. Morrison versus Ricky. This is crazy, man. I gotta be honest with you. Being 10 and 0, you know, I have a lot of confidence brewing right here. I have a lot of confidence, but you know, I had to remind myself before this fight started that you shouldn't get too confident because holy cow, when you do, you're gonna get knocked out. And look at Tommy Morrison. That's a great model of Tommy. And the thing that's crazy, when I see that model, it brings back memories of when I fought a guy in bare knuckles, and holy cow, it was a crazy fight. Go check that video. I'll, pu I'll put a link at the end of this video, and it was a crazy online fight. But look at him. Business in the front, party in the back, and Morrison's a beast. And somebody said, and I can't remember, and I apologize, said, be careful with the Morrison power. So you got to treat it like you're facing Iron Mike. So that's what I'm going to do. And look, I got new apparel on. There we go. But again, I have been boosting up my attributes, man. So I'm feeling feeling pretty good, man. Feeling pretty good. And looking at Morrison here, jeez, man. I'm trying to take my head off early. There we go. Man, I'm not, I'm not trying to do too much. Oh, nice. Okay, and you gotta be 
kind of mindful of that one punch power that he has. Because in this game, if you get hit flush, you know, the fight could end. There'll be no standing eight count. There'll be no eight count or 10 count at all. So I just want to overexpose myself. There we go. Oh, I was looking to slow dance. Already, baby. Oh, was that a low blow? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Morrison, huh? And I upgraded some of my XP into my combos. You guys were telling me about that. And in my jab, too. Not going with the big power bombs early, just I like this start. Whoa! Guy looked like he was uh throwing a fastball there. Holy cow, that crazy overhand. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. But yeah, if you've been following me for a while, you know that my first round is typically not my greatest round, and that was it's a solid round, man. We kinda took some shots there though, but I don't want to be too critical. Yeah, keep on tickling that belly. Be mindful of that. You know, be mindful of those powerful shots that he's throwing. And he's winding up, too. See that? He's connected on that one. He's going to start throwing power shots soon. Oh, my. You, man, my guy's getting powerful. Oh, gotta watch out. Fire that jab out there a little bit. It's a good start, man. Oh, be careful. That overhand. Oh, I gave him a shot to the groin. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh, down he goes. Tommy going down. You know what's so crazy? You're not going to believe this, but, um, I was having some chips before, actually it wasn't, it wasn't chips, it was popcorn. I was having some popcorn before recording this and um, my left thumb still has some butter on it and my it slipped off the left, left analog and I accidentally hit him to a shot down to the jewels. Morrison's having a tough time here, man. What a round, people. What a round indeed. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw a His style, right I gotta be honest, and Foreman almost had the same Don't style. That style of punch, basically okay? throwing the kitchen sink at me, going with those big power shots, marching forward. I really feel that it plays into my fighting style. Guys that sit back and are on the outside, counter fighters, like Chambers and um, Klitschko, you know, it's a lot tougher for me. Nice Look at this, a lot of positive vibes coming out of our corner, but we can't get crazy. Remember against the zombie. Against the zombie, I, I have to be honest, I was getting cocky and then I almost lost the fight. See that, he's, he's still landing. Whoa. My overhand when I want it to land doesn't land, but see there, there it went away. See that? Let me know in the comments the 
best time to throw that overhand because I feel like I'm missing and it leaves me wide open. See, I want to do that. Jab down low, sneak it in. Oh, baby. There we go. Kind of have to bait him in on that shot. Morrison having a better round, but we're still touching him. There we go. Oh, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm, I'm, I'm forcing the occasion, and I'm stuttering. <laughs> I'm forcing the occasion, and I'm stuttering. Saved by the bell. Keep doing what you do. Unreal. I really feel like I can tighten up my game though a little bit here. By not letting him touch me as much. I'm gonna try to get him in this round to whiff a little bit and just be a little bit more elusive. Unbelievable. Look at that. 10-9, 10-8. He doesn't have a lot of gas in the tank. Oh, look at this. And down he goes with some body shots. And Morrison. Really having a tough time. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Is he going to get up? That's the question. Looks frustrated, but he's, he's look at that. He's getting up. Oh, his knee's gonna buckle it. Oh, it buckled! Oh, man. Morrison goes down. Look at that. We're shocking. Boxing Nation. Man, this is nuts. It's nuts how, you know, these last couple of fights are really coming together in terms of, or with respect, I should say, uh, to our boxing skills, man. Really putting it together here. And I couldn't thank you guys enough, but there you have it. And, um, you know, like I said in my live stream, I'm going to try to pop out some more episodes. Let me know in the comments, you know, because if you want to see another episode, you know, quicker than usual, I try to do one every couple of days, every two days, sometimes three. But let me know and um, I'll do my best to try to pop one out a little bit sooner. But there you go, man. It's nuts. It wasn't the type of fight that I anticipated. I was expecting a war. I was expecting to be absolutely exhausted after the fight. But, um, no, I feel pretty good right now, man. Getting that dub. And now we are ranked 18th, 11-0, 8 KOs. Holy cow. Now, before we end off this episode, man, I just I always like to... You know, check the emails and check who may be next. Just to give you something to think about for the next episode. So let's see here. Holy cow, man. That was crazy. So let's see what the, the email box is saying. Okay, fight challenges. Okay, I don't want to look at that. But let's see, man. Schedule the next fight. Yeah, before we end this off, let's see. Danny Rice. Looks like Dan Rice will be the only, I guess, formidable opponent. Some people were saying, you know, go up against David Hay. Um, but I don't think so. I think Rice is the right pick just because, uh, you know, we can move up in the rankings. So anyways, guys, I'll try to bust out another episode sooner than later. But thank you for tuning in. Look at that. Holy cow. We did it, baby. And we're going up against, most likely, Danny Rice in the next episode. Anyways, this is Ricky J. All the best. Thanks for the support. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>